and providing an artistic outlet for kids, parents, veterans, and service members, the Bemis School of Art has something for everyone. Yeah, so right now, Sarah live and local near downtown at the Fine Arts Center telling us all about their classes they offer and how to sign up. Sarah, good morning. Well, good morning, Craig and Abby. There are very technical terms here for the artists. Like right now, we're tossing bowls. I found that out. That is wrong. <laughs> You're actually throwing bowls. But oh. hey, as long as you try it, that's <laughs> all that matters. We are joined right now by Tara Savon Thomas, the director here at the Bemis School of Art, located at the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center at Colorado College. Good morning. Right. Good morning. So tell us a little bit about the Bemis School of Art. We offer a variety of classes. We start at six years old all the way through adults. Uh, we have wheel throwing, we have jewelry making, painting, drawing, all sorts of classes for different level, all different skill levels, all different kinds of ages. Great, so why would you say maybe for everyone to try art out? You know, I think, you know, if you're never tried it, come try it. We have classes that get you in at entry level. Okay. Um, taking classes helps with stress, relaxation, self-care, problem solving. Even if you mess up on art, you're still relaxed. You're still that's the relaxed. thing that's good. With right. golf, you might get a little frustrated if you mess up or if you slice the ball or something like Sometimes that. Sometimes you'll get frustrated here too, but we also <laughs> have very talented instructors that can help get you through, you know, that little part, you know, over that, um, yeah. that, that sticking point, you know? Great, and right behind us, we have Jeremiah. Good morning to you and also Rui over here that we're going to talk to later. So tell us real quickly about your summer classes. So summer classes are um, going to be so much fun. Um, some of them are going to be out in the community. Um, you know, we have some plein air watercolor classes. Um, we have a lot of one week classes and they go clear to, you know, up to 10 week long, 10 weeks long. Great. And all ages we're going to talk about later. You also have a veterans program yes. um, for military active duty. Yes. And yeah, we have so much to go There's through this so morning. so much going on. Great. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Tara, for thank joining you. us. Thank you. Thank and you for being here. Of course. Thank you, Rui. And of course, Perfect. Jeremiah over here. Guess what? See, now we can remake it and have have fun. Rebirth. Toss some more bowls on the wheel, Craig and Abby. That is what we're about today. <laughs> toss them or throw them? Don't tell you. Throw them. Don't toss, toss them. them. What? To yeah. I thought you throw I, them. Either. Ask the expert. Yeah, you know, honestly, <laughs> it's very technical terms. Uh, <laughs> you can use them a little loosely, is what she, they tell me. Okay. She flings them. Okay. So you, <laughs> hurl, you hurl them. There you okay. go. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Well, a way to experience the, uh, the arts for all ages hmm. and interest is happening right now at the Fine Arts Center. So right now, Sarah joins us live and local near downtown, showing us inside the FAC's Bemis School of Arts. Sarah, good morning. I'm hearing uh, Righteous Brothers in my head right now. Visions of <laughs> ghosts the scene of Patrick Swayze and mm -hmm. Demi Moore yes good morning Craig and Abby I am you know it's bull tossing time I'm trying <laughs> to get this centered right now uh, it's kind of working but that's also from the help of Jeremiah Hauk over here the, the assistant director of the FAC's Bemis School of Art good morning to you good morning thank you for helping me get centered uh, you're pretty good at this already <laughs> You. So tell us a little bit about the classes. You guys have all age levels and all different types of classes. To we take. do. Coming up in summer, we start at age six and go all the way up to adults. So you can be as old as you want to be and try painting, drawing, sculpting, and a bunch of other classes too. Great. I love this. Bunch oh, thank. It's a clay maneuver. <laughs> calm this morning. I love it. And we also wanted to talk about safe access to art because this is a safe place. That's who we are. Yes. Anyone is welcome to take art classes here. You do not need to know how to do art before you come and take classes. That's one of the things we do. Beginning Exhibit classes. A. <laughs> yes. Is, yeah. We need lots of help over here, but that's because you're here to help me. Ah, it's, we have many instructors, <laughs> about 30 or 40 instructors who will help people with various things. Is this the first time you've seen stilettos on a wheel? It is <laughs> in this room. This might be a first. There we go. Wore these babies <laughs> just for today. I knew I was going to get some clay today. Rui actually over here mentioned that she's never seen stilettos on a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and so Jeremiah, tell us real quickly, summer classes are coming up, so yes. people can also get memberships here if they'd like. They can. The Fine Arts Center offers memberships, and if you get a membership to the Fine Arts Center, you get discounts on the price of classes here. And Art Tracks, tell art us about Art Tracks, that. our new program, yes, yes. encapsulated four-week classes <laughs> for under $80 each, all supplies included for adults. Oh. This time around, we'll have some 
his art track starting up in the next three months or so. But oh. uh, our beginning art tracks are already full. Whoa. So in another four weeks or so, okay. Needs we'll have water. levels two and three for drawing, painting, and sculpting that people right. can sign up for. So do you keep pushing down or how? <laughs> oh yeah, you can, you can slow the wheel down a little Ooh. bit if okay. you want. Okay. I was going a little fast. Yeah. Too fast for comfort there. A little, a little slower. And then you'll squish thumbs against those squish. fingers. Yeah. Okay. Pinching here and lifting Ooh, at the okay. same time. And feel Is free to. Is this the most beautiful bowl you've ever seen? Yes. Yeah. Proof right here. Wow. Look at this. You know, my brothers really excelled in art in high school. Oh. Um, so look at me now. Yeah. Huh? Check yes. this out. It only gets better from this point. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hopefully many more years of experience <laughs> needed here. Thank you so much, Jeremiah. We appreciate you. Thank you, Sarah. Of course. So Craig and Abby, you know, you just got to do with what you can. And it's it. going to be a bowl yeah. just for you to take oh, home, it's Craig. It's getting wobbly. That's Maybe great. a plate. <laughs> oh. Or the next one. You, <laughs> oh, you forgot to mention, uh, Sarah, that Jeremiah is the Patrick Swayze yes. of uh, the Bemis School of Art. Oh, he yes. Oh, yes. Oh, you just called called the Patrick Swayze oh. of the Bemis School of Art. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> he doesn't know what to say. Oh, Speechless. yeah, Thanks, loves it. Sarah, good All luck right. with that plate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wish the plate good luck with right. Sarah. Well, providing an artistic outlet for kids, parents, veterans, and service members, the Bemis School of Art has something for everyone. Yeah, so right now, Sarah, live and local near downtown at the Fine Arts Center, telling us now all about these classes offered and how you can sign up. Sarah, kids, good morning. Good morning, Craig and Abby. Can you guys all say good morning? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's a happy little kids table over here. We're joined right now by the youth art instructor, Melissa Newberry. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. Of course, I'm happy to he be here, happy to be teaching these kids about some animals. Yeah, so tell us what they're working on right now. So we are working on an <laughs> animal in the environment program. We are making some animals. We have a few different animals going on. We have a kitty cat. Oh. We have a snake, an octopus, and a surprise. I'm not sure what this one oh, is yet. It's a surprise over yes. there. Okay. And so tell us real quickly about why art is such great self-care for kiddos. So art is a great outlook for a lot of people. It's great that kids get involved because it can become an outlook very young. It's a great therapeutical thing. So when children need a break, they can go and create. Great, and you are also a teacher. Yes, I am a teacher as well. So I have taught this lesson at elementary school level where we learn about the animal's environment and how the animal is either being affected by their environment or right. affecting their environment. Great, so what are you making over here, Bren? A cat. A cat, ooh, and these are just like the little feet. Oh, great, they're so cute. <laughs> and which one did we say was a surprise over here? This one. What is this one over here? It's a surprise. <laughs> it's a surprise! <laughs> she's not going to tell us. She's going to keep it secret. So if people want to join their classes, what ages do you offer? So this class is offered for six to nine years old. I offer a bunch of different classes, but this one specifically is six to nine. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And also during the pandemic, extremely important for kiddos to continue art. So tell us a little bit about yes. how that kind of helped. So during the pandemic, well, after we saw a lot of like social emotional development needs and art became a really, once again, good outlook for the kids. It became an area where they could work and feel confident in something. Right. And even if they hadn't been in school or maybe they were at home a lot learning, it was an area where they could still practice, get hands-on, get curious, and still be able to learn and feel <laughs> confident in what they were doing. Lots of tape happening over here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are they building with all of the tape? What other little supplies do we have on this table? So we have some <laughs> straws, newspaper, tape, and we also have some plaster strips. So right. I have started building like kind of the, wow. the outline and body of it. So I started making a gray fox so we could learn about what's going on yeah. with the gray fox. And essentially they're making the skeletons and muscles to Ooh. their animals right now. And then they'll cover it with plaster and Cute. paint to make their, their skin and extra <laughs> details. Great, well guys, can we have you say a good morning one more time back to Craig and Abby. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, the cutest little thing, Craig and Abby. We are going to 
toss it back to you. Good <laughs> stuff. All right, Sarah. Thank Very you. Very talented. For sure. Okay, time now is uh, 648. Let's get back to Ashley. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning. Yes. Hey, good happy. Hi. Hi. I know we're so close to each other, but sometimes good to say it through here. <laughs>